click to subscribe to our channel we're posting new videos all the time and here on the nurseries where we grow over 2,000 different varieties of outdoor garden plants ones that have been specially selected for their performance in our region in the northeast and mid-atlantic states i think you're going to see some really good varieties that i hope you'll be able to enjoy growing around your home lots of exciting and new varieties but also tried and true varieties that have very definitely stood the test of time take for example this wonderful variety of butterfly bush this is Budlia Black Knight, a variety that's been around since 1959, would you believe? It has these gorgeous dark black purplish colored flowers that are just quite simply fantastic and what's more are delightfully fragrant too. Since its introduction, I think over the years, this has definitely proven to be one of the most successful Budlia introductions ever. It's a shrub that is hardy to zone 5, will get to about 6 to 8 foot high by about 4 to 5 foot wide. And in the early part of midsummer, depending upon where you live, when it starts to flower, it will produce all of these gorgeous flowers, which of course will bring in butterflies from all over the neighborhood. And what's more, because it produces a lot of nice young growth flower buds, it's going to keep going right through to the frosts of the autumn. Really very easy to grow and thoroughly reliable. All at once is a sunny location in an average well-drained soil. Now the well-drained soil is important. Budleys just do not like to grow in damp, wet, saturated conditions. Give them an average soil that's free draining and you'll find that they really are very remarkably easy to grow. What's also important to mention is that all of these flowers are produced on the current year's growth. So the more you prune it back, the more it will grow out and the more the flowers will come on it. Here at Overdivest, where we specialize in growing extra bushy, compact plants that get off to a really good start when they're planted in the gardens, you can see how many flowers you get on a plant when you trim it back. In early spring, once you get your plant established in the ground, in early spring, you should go in and just trim it back to about six to eight inches off the ground. That will then encourage lots of young, fresh growth, which then, of course, carries all of these fabulous flowers. It's a lovely thing to have in the middle of a bed or a border. You could use it as a kind of a background plant if you want to show off other perennials. Certainly, I would encourage you to have it somewhere near your home or windows where you're able to enjoy both the fragrance and all of the butterflies and pollinating insects that are going to come to visit it. Like other Bodleia Davidi types, once it's established, it's remarkably drought tolerant. So it's really very easy to look after. And because they have these kind of furry leaves, deer and other varmints that tend to eat our plants at times usually leave them alone. So as you see, it really has a lot going for it. It was hybridized by Bon Rees of the Royal Moorheim Company in northeastern Netherlands and has got an award of merit from the Royal Horticultural Society. A really exceptional plant that I hope you'll be able to enjoy growing in your garden. This is Budlia Black Knight.